I've come to the humble village of Mal Nane. It means eight mile because it literally is eight miles from Stone Town. And I've come here because I've tracked down a lady described as the oldest woman in all of Zanzibar. She's very famous in these parts because most of her life she's been a singer. And I'm told that even though she's well into her 90s, she's still quite the engaging performer today. Her home is just in this direction, so let's meet her. We've even found a young expert who knows where the singer lives, so he's leading the way. Go ahead. This must be the place. Matham, how are you? Hey. How are you? This is the man who's set all this up for me, Matham. He'll be translating for me as well. How is Fatima? Yeah. Is she well enough to speak with us? Yeah, she's good. Um, come and see her. Okay. Miki Dude. Lameka. Who is Aaron, you? And Aaron? This is Fatima, known as Miki Dude. Miki Dude, how are you? Salam. Miki Dude, Biti Bada Kandomimi. She said that's her name. That's my name, and this is my nephew's house. We're actually lucky to get this interview with Bikadude now because her family says she's been sick and just returned from a hospital in Dar es Salaam. During our interview, she often repeated herself, but her energy was unwavering. So Bikadude, how are you feeling today? How's your health? She, she might look like this, but she's not silk at all. She's perfectly fine. <laughs> hey, look at this. See that? I told you. She said you can't pull your hands off. That's how strong she is. She said you, she, you can't. You have a very tight grip on my hand right now. You are fit and strong. Is it okay if I ask your age? My age, right? I was born when they used rupee and not shillings. The Zanzibari rupee was used from 1908 to about 1936, which would make Bikadude anywhere between the ages of 76 and 104, though her family says she's well into her 90s. But since no one knows her exact age, it served to add to her legendary status here. Um, where you come from? UK. And to Congress? You Congress? No. Is that okay? <laughs> Give me that look. Congress. England. She said, go to England and just say, Kidude, everybody knows her. Ah, okay. Uh, I will ask my friends. I have been to the UK, Germany, Sweden, Italy. The only thing I don't know is English. Now, people know who you are because you're such a good singer. You've been singing. I still sing, even today. Would you like her to sing for you? Please, I would love to hear you sing. Adaka. Bikadude sings in Arabic in a style of music called Tarab. In Arabic, Tarab means to be moved by music. It draws upon Indian, Arab and African influences. And Bikadude was once one of the genre's major stars. Wonderful! That was fantastic. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Shukran. What, what can she tell me about what that song was about? The language it was in? She said the song is about if God wants to give you something, you don't have to work hard. 
mm. you will just get it. Mm. Even if you're asleep, you will just get it. What do you think of Zanzibar and its future? She said Zanzibar is gone. Why? Uh, Old Zanzibar, not now. Old Zanzibar. The Western countries are better because they respect people. They know people's worth. Just different from here. What does she remember from old Zanzibar? The past was good, but not today. Bikidude goes on to tell me she's seen a change in the way people on the island treat one another, especially how younger people care for their elders. Meanwhile, the younger generation here is facing challenges of its own. So next, I head out to sea to meet a fisherman whose job involves more than just the catch of the day.